All right, guys. Well, I got a new watch. Uh, it is a Citizen. It's kind of nice. Um, I'll put up what it is at the top here. But uh, in the meantime, uh, it's not working, so I'm going to have to fix it. But let's watch a video. In a moment, the sun rises. In a moment, your best friend gets married. The times of our lives happen in a moment. And more people keep track of these moments with a watch made by Citizen. Citizen, how the world tells time. So, uh, this thing's a little dirty. You can see, I think the best thing for me to do is to take it apart. And then we'll see what's going on. So, I'm just going to go ahead and start taking it apart. Usually there's like a little ridge. I think I found it right there. You know what? I'm gonna clean this before I open it. Probably the best thing for me to do. So I'll be back. All right, so I've cleaned it. Looks a lot better. And I found a little spot right here. If you can see, oh, sorry, where it can actually be pried open. Now, the concern I have is if you can see that, it's a little bit galled up. So that means this has probably been opened a few times before, which means somebody's already tried to fix it. And if that's the case, probably means I am looking at potentially replacing the movement. There is absolutely no gasket on this whatsoever. All right, well, let's see what we got before we take the part. Let's just remove this. This is a 364 slash 363. You can see that. So I will look through my stuff and see if I can find one. All right, well, I did in fact find one. It's a 364, looks correct. We'll go ahead and open it up. It's a nice Maxwell or Maxell, I guess. You know, I don't mean, I always used to call them Maxwell. I used to make floppy disks back in the day. I always thought that was really cool. I can't see. I gotta put my little glasses on. You know, I swear, as I get older, I am totally unable to see anything, like, at all. Like, it sucks. All right, this is a twofer. I mean, I gotta use two hands or two things. Yeah, this movement doesn't look so hot. It's got a little bit of dirt on it. I'm wondering if this got wet, which would not surprise me considering the fact that it has lots of dirt in it. Is that, is that the right size? I mean, it just looked a lot bigger. Alright. There we go, let's see, does it work? Oh gosh. That was the easiest thing I've ever had to do. Does it work? It does. Okay, so it just needed a battery. So I will clean this up a little bit, very carefully, and this crown is actually broken. So I'm going to pop this crown out, move the movement, clean the glass, and we'll do that in a minute. Actually, you know what? You guys might want to see it. Let's see. Push here. Okay. It didn't come out. Okay, let's look carefully. Push where? Okay, I'm pushing. Okay, it's got to be in. All right. Push. 
and pull. And there we go. So you can see, look at that. So I am going to have to fix that because that is not okay. I don't think I need to replace it. I just need to fix it. Okay. So we'll pop this sucker out. And I lost my thing, so don't be offended. And I will take this and I'll clean it and I will come back. Well, I thought this cleaned up quite nice. I think it's gonna actually be very nice. So I'm pretty excited. And I also fixed this little guy. I'm not gonna tell you how I did it uh, because the sensibilities of watchmakers everywhere would be so offended that I would be banned from YouTube. So, yes. All right, uh, and now I do wanna put a gasket back, so. Let's measure for the gasket. I had to get this from the garage too uh, because my daughter uses this for working on her car. So I always have to steal it back. But uh, that's 20, yeah, 27. I'll go a little smaller. All right. Do. Always use the air bulb. Okay, and don't have my tools, so how are we going to do this? There's probably a better way but this is what it's going to be for right now. Okay, desk is still good on there. Put a little sucker in there. Work it in slowly until I feel the catch. Boom. All right. Put this on. Always line up the little guy. If it's got it, only the cheap watches have it. This is a nice watch, don't get me wrong. But, still is also a cheap watch. All right, that went on nice with a gasket. And we'll clean it up. Let me, oops, making a mess. Let me clean the bracelet and I'll bring it back on my wrist. All right, well, I got it back together and I have to say, I think it's a very nice watch. I'm very pleased with it. And I'm glad that my $5 bought it because uh, this is quite a nice old watch. Now, I don't know anything about it. I'm gonna go ahead and look up uh, what I can find out about this watch. But my guess is that this is probably early to mid nineties. So that's my guess. Um, so we'll see, but, uh, took some pictures. That's got a weird, weird little thing in here. I'm not sure. I've never seen that before, but yeah. All right. Let's see what I can find out. All right. So <clears throat> I kind of like this watch, honestly. Like I'm really happy that I, I bought it and, uh, fixed it up. Um, I don't know if I'd say that I saved it, but the watch was pretty cheap. It was like, I think I paid $5. Actually, it might have been a little bit less, but it was on a sort of a scrap pile. It's, um, I won't say it's a collector's. Uh, it certainly has some wear on it and it's not necessarily worth fixing. I, I was able to find a couple of these. So, and I'll put uh, some examples of them up above. Uh, you'll see. Um, I don't know specifically what the name is. Uh, it's just a gold citizen watch um triple gold is what it called it. it said it was ultra rare but based on the research i was able to find um it looks like it came from 1991 so that would kind of make sense it has a very nice uh gold plated movement um and i'll put that up there too so you can see um i forget the model but i'll put all the information there i took some pictures uh, it's actually really nice. Um, I think it's a good, certainly good quality and explains how with it being this old, 
and clearly it's been opened up and serviced a couple times that um, it's still working. So I like it, it's very quiet. Nice, simple three hand movement with date time. Um, bracelet's kind of interesting. Uh, it fits probably anywhere from six inch wrist adjustable to seven and a half, which is what I have. <clears throat> um, I'll go ahead and do some, some quick measurements on it too since I'm here, because I always tend to forget to do that. So it's actually a decent size. Um, we'll do it this way so it's more realistic. 39.5, 40 millimeter case. Um, the lug to lug is about 20, which is good. The case depth is nine millimeters. Um, sorry, that wasn't lug to lug. This is lug to lug. 39.3, and that's kind of nice. You know, let's do the weight, because I always like to do that too. Okay, eighty-five point eight grams. So not bad. It definitely has some weight to it. Feels quality. It is deadly silent. Uh, I'll put this next to it. <clears throat> Keep in mind, 39.5 is ambient. So you can see it's producing maybe five decibels, if even that. Like it's it's imperceptible. You just you just can't hear it. It's it's quite nice. Let's see how the loom works. If it's still good, it's very bright out in this room. So, but I will try to get it as much as I can. See if it's no. Looks like the loom is either dead or it's fake because this would definitely light it up, but I'm not seeing anything, so no loom. <clears throat> well, I guess that's it for this guy. I'm probably gonna put it up on eBay for something really reasonable. It's got a new battery. I'll probably wear it for a couple days and then throw it up on there. Maybe, I don't know, $39. I think somebody deserves a nice watch that is ready to go. New seal, new battery, and I had fun, so all right. Thank you.